changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins.
have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Message repeats in 24 hours. System breakdown. your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. It is endearing to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! Lots of water out there, almost all of it undoubtedly irradiated. When in doubt, boil it out. Stay stocked with medicine. And don't forget to use them. Medicine checklist. Radex, Radaway, Stimpak. Got it? Good. Oh, come on. Building a personal power grid and making your own electricity. How hard could it be? Today the day, leaving the vault at last. The overseer could be anywhere by now. When you get outside, find each other. Seek strength in numbers. Utilize both your similarities and differences.
overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There Never stop learning. Be the best that you can be.
Ah, those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. Way in there. Maybe. Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. Treasure. But I told you, Lacey, the guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No, someone has to know something. We're just going to stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. 
Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Watch yourself out there. Yeah. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. If we expand our area all the way out here, <laughs> the Raiders don't have a chance. Gotta keep a lookout for raiders.
different turn. Remember, some of us still want what's best for Appalachia. We got those bots up and running. Fixing this all by hand would be a nightmare. I wish that the brother would be share with the one and the rest of us. Why does everyone still squabble all the time? You have to come together to survive. Now I know what the settlers are going through. Right, always welcome. You're looking here. for work, Dr. Oh, Lane. Tree. Tell us up, you. Uh, become desirable wood product. Don't let the wasteland get to you. break or heading back out into danger. Hope those raiders know we need a little horn. Protect and serve.
Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you m Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you- Hey! Who the hell are you? Guy? I told you it was gonna end badly. Now I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fella named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. Uh huh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh... I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything, but I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it.
Now, you ready to get this show on the road? It is a lot to ask. Fine. I could do 75, but that's as high as I'll go. That means you're up to the task? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point, but it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher.